Chapter 21 of The Mandalorian recently dropped and what a wild ride it was. The episode ended with New Republic pilot Carson Teva discovering Moff Gideon had escaped New Republic custody after the Imperial shuttle transporting him was attacked. In addition, Teva also discovered a piece of Mandalorian Beskar that was left behind at the scene of the crime. So, were Mandalorians framed or were they actually involved with the crime? I see several possibilities as to who helped Gideon break free, so let's break them down. One possibility is that Mandalorian mercenaries were paid by the Empire to break Gideon and free, as Bo-Katan Kryze told Din Djarin back in episode 1 of the season that her night owl Mandos had abandoned her and were operating as mercs in the Outer Rim. Mandalorians are very skilled and elite fighters, so maybe the Imperial Remnant decided their best chance to break Gideon free would be to enlist a squad of Mandos for the job. That seems highly unlikely to me though, since Gideon played a large role in decimating the Mandalorian people during the Great Purge of Mandalore, so I find it hard to believe that Mandos would be willing to work for the Empire to break Gideon free. On top of that, Mandalorian Beskar Alloy is insanely strong Wrong, so I find it hard to believe that, if Mandos were involved, a piece of their armor would break off during the scrum. If Mandalorians weren't involved, how else could that Beskar alloy be left behind? We know that the Empire has a large amount of Beskar alloy in their possession, so it wouldn't shock me if the Empire tried to manufacture their own armor for their stormtroopers made with Mandalorian Beskar. If they did try to create their own Beskar armor, I could see that armor being of poor quality and being vulnerable to breaking, since they don't have the ancient knowledge of Mandalorian forging and armor creation. This also seems unlikely but it's still a possibility. Another scenario I could see is that, instead of making Beskar armor for stormtroopers, the Empire used Beskar to manufacture the armor plating used for dark troopers. Just like with armor for stormtroopers, if the Empire tried creating armor plating for dark troopers using Beskar, it'd be of poor quality compared to armor created by Mandalorians and may be susceptible to breaking or chipping. The next possibility, and the one that seems most likely to me, is that the Empire decided to frame Mandalorians to keep the New Republic off their trail. The Empire probably wants to do everything it can to prevent the New Republic from finding out what they're up to in the Outer Rim. I'm looking at you, Grand Admiral Thrawn, so framing someone makes a lot of sense. We know that the Empire is strewn throughout the Outer Rim and is fractured, with imps acting as warlords and doing their own thing. So, whether it's Thrawn, Moff Gideon, or someone else that's running the Imperial Remnant, the Empire has to work to unify all the various Imperial factions with the hope that a consolidated and unified Empire could put up a serious fight against the New Republic. Preventing the New Republic from being aware of the Imperial Remnant's moves in the Outer Rim would would allow the Empire to continue to grow in strength in the shadows, with the goal of eventually striking the New Republic. While there are several possibilities as to how that Beskar wound up on Moff Gideon's transport, I think that the most likely scenario is that it was planted there to frame Mandos and keep the New Republic unaware as to the machinations of the Empire, and that evil SOB, Mithra knew Ruodo. But how do you think that Beskar alloy wound up on Gideon's transport? Do you think Mandalorians were framed? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.